What's going on? So if you want to avoid sending your kids to private school, right? Because private school can be really expensive. All parents know that. Here's some things you could do, especially if you have a little bit of money saved and you can afford to buy a house. The main thing would be to buy a house in a great neighborhood. And what defines a great neighborhood? A neighborhood that has a good public school, all right? A good public school would be really good because your school, your, your kids can get a good education. So the only issue is that you gotta find a neighborhood that has the price point that you can afford. So the first step is to look into neighborhoods where they have a good public school. Now, how do you do that? Well, you have to go into neighborhoods and look at their graduation rates, look to see what the community is saying about these particular schools, and look to see what their graduation rates are after high school, after college, if that data exists. If it doesn't exist, I can understand. However, the main goal would be to make sure that your credit is good, that you have your deposit, because in most neighborhoods that have great schools, you're going to have to spend at least $500,000, at least $500,000. So if you go conventional, put down 5%, that's $20,000 you got to put down, and your mortgage is going to be about, let's say, three grand per month. So you got to be able to afford that in order to be able to buy a house in a good neighborhood. Now, if you're able to get something less expensive at a $400,000 or $300,000, then that could be even better for you. Um, so this is how to do it. This is this can save you tons of money on private school. However, if you're the type of parent who wants to send your kid to private school, then go right ahead. You know, if you got the money, but, you know, private school can be costly. Like I said, especially if you have not only one, but two or three kids to send a private school. So not only that, when you are sending your kids to a public school in a community where other kids are going to public school, they build better camaraderie with students in that particular community. So they can develop friendships because oftentimes, if a, sometimes private schools are a little ways away. So but however if the school is in a neighborhood where people are there and you can even develop good relationship with neighbors and develop good friendships because these other people are professionals so on that note until the next time i hope this helps you out peace and love